Welcome back once again to your divine message from our compassionate divine guides. As always, I have pre-shuffled the cards and I am pulling today from the Work Your Light Oracle Cards by Rebecca Campbell. So let's find out what message they have for us today. With these cards, they're actually divided into five suits. So we'll find out what this is as well. Our card today is Answer the Call. What is your soul calling you to do? And this is an inquiry card. So I'm going to guess and go at that. Our inquiry is what is our soul calling us to do? That I'm assuming is where we're going to go today. But as I always recommend, take a deep breath in and allow your mind and body and soul to just be clear for this next minute or so. As we explore our message, answer the call. What is your soul calling you to do? Your guidance is divinely guided. You are being called to answer the call of your soul. It might be scary. It might not make sense. But if you trust your soul's yearnings, you will live a life beyond what your mind could possibly imagine. Answering your soul's calling is not a one-time thing, rather a lifelong dance. Deep down, you already know what you long for, what your soul yearns for. Whatever you are called to do, that is your calling. Don't overthink it. Don't wait for permission. Just say yes. Most people are waiting for a step-by-step -step plan before they take the first step. But intuition doesn't work like that. It takes faith and courage to answer the calls of your soul. And that's why most people don't do it. But you are not most people. You are in exactly the right place to answer your calling now. You don't need to know the whole plan. You don't even need to know where it is leading. You just need to take the next step. No one has ever had the complete perfect plan. There is no end destination. There is no right or wrong way to do it. And you do not need permission from anyone else. Sometimes the more resistance we have around answering a soul's calling, the more important it is to our soul's growth. And of course our inquiry, what is your soul calling you to do? What is your soul calling you to do? What is your soul calling you to do? Allow yourself a few moments. Maybe just take this into a deep meditation, contemplating our message about answering the call and what is our soul calling us to do? I encourage you to take that away and set some time to contemplate it. This is an important message. The more of us that are doing our soul's work and our soul calling, the more we will change this reality into the most dynamic, beautiful, connected reality we could ever, we, we can't even imagine. And as always, have a beautiful day. Until tomorrow, namaste.